that has done in the life of some of our brethren. The first testifier, very quickly, should come up here now. And then after that, the next and the next. Please be very brief. Tell us your name, what the Lord has done for you. The first testifier, come over quickly. Tell us your name and what the Lord has done for you. Very quickly. Go straight to the point. Yes. Praise the Lord. Um, um, my name is Kamala Fair, praise the Lord at home, Lola. I want to bless God for his goodness. First of all, I bless the Lord for the salvation of my soul. Second of all, I want to thank God for the healing that he granted unto me during the just concluded crusade. For the past four years, I've been battling with serious asthma. And then at different points in time, it usually comes and then most times I have to be nebulized. Sometimes I'm on drugs. At a point, they had to prescribe a new inhaler for me just to cope the situation. And it was getting really, really bad. But I want to bless God. During the just concluded crusade, then um, a woman came to share a testimony of how God healed her of asthma. And I prayed and believed God for my healing. And then during the period of testimonies, I, I discovered that I could breathe well. I was not affected by smoke or cold or anything. And that was the end of that problem. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord did it for her. We do for you in Jesus' name. Yes, let's listen for one more. Yes, quickly tell us your name, brother, and what the Lord has done briefly. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Augustine in Tamuku. I worship with Deeper Life Bible Church, Life Camp District, in Life Camp Group of District. My testimony is about my experience with regards to my place of work in the series of Global Crusade that we have had. In April, when we had the soaring above here in Abuja, I had an experience in my office that my, that my supervisor I had to give me a kind of privileged information that my job is on the line. And it unsettled me. I was disturbed. And I prayed earnestly about it. And I informed some brethren to support me in prayers. Then in June, when the GS came back for the Divine Connection Crusade, I was offered notice of disengagement from my place of, uh, of work. And then... Uh, during that period, after I, was, I attended the crusade, but by the time the crusade was over and the GS was going back, I gave one of the escort team members my, that notice of disengagement to help me make connection. We came for divine connection and I'm being disconnected to make a connect with the GS. So when they got to the airport, as the GS was departing, he asked them if they have any need, they should raise up their hand. So he said at the airport, he raised up that notice of disengagement, and the GS prayed. And after the prayer, I began to see series of events happening. Things changed. I was assured, reassured, and reassured again by the Lord that all is well. Then in September... They, they disengaged me already. I was not disturbed because my case is settled in heaven. Now, in November, I attended a workshop, self-sponsored in Lagos. I just checked my mail while at the workshop. A mail tumbled in, prepared for interview. I went to praise the Lord. I went to the, uh, the coordinators and said, please, I've been given notice of interview. They gave me a chance. I attended that interview online. And I want to tell you today that by December, a mail tumbled in again. Congratulations, you've been given a new job. 
And a miracle that God did was that the post I applied for was not what they gave me. It was something lower. They upgraded me. I was posted, I was supposed to be posted to Abia State. They repackaged it and post me back to Abuja. This is what God has done for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have online now. This will be the last one. Then we have online testimony. The choir should come up. Just one testimony online. Elizabeth Odoko, Mayor from Cape Verde, a member of Deeper Life Bible Church in Cape Verde. She says, I am born again. I want to testify to the goodness of God delivering me from premature death. Before this time, evil people have prophesied that I would die. But during the program of our Father in the Lord, the global program, great miracle explosion in Lagos, I trusted God for ensuring that that prophecy will not come to pass. And when it seemed as if I was dying, that prayer of the man of God, final amen, brought me back to life. Now I am whole, no more sickness, no more weakness. I can breathe well, I can live well, and I am happy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord has touched all these brethren both physically in program, online, and the Lord is touching you. All who are here physically, all our brethren connecting online, get ready for the touch of God. The Lord is going to bless you abundantly in Jesus.